Hey, it's David. Welcome back to Orangeville Daily Homes. So we have uh, a number of properties that have come up overnight, and uh, you know, let's uh, let's kind of start with our uh, with our first one. I think we have about 12, uh, 12 homes, and they're all a little bit different. And you know, one of the things that I like uh, I like about them is, you know, some are starter prices, some are uh, looking, you know, for people who are looking to downsize. And there's a uh, a really really neat one on here that you would probably need to see in person to really appreciate uh, and I'll show it show you what I mean when uh, when we get there so we'll start with our first one which is 160 Main Street it's uh, up in uh, Hornings Mills <coughs> now one thing before we even get into Hornings Mills one thing that you do need to understand is there has been a that proposed quarry is north of Hornings Mills and it's up into the country uh, they're like two years away from even uh, having a meeting kind of on this, they have uh, two years to, to deal with all of their objection letters that have come in. So this thing could be 10 years out. It could be, I mean, who knows how long it's going to take, uh, e even if it even if it does come through. So there's just so many things that too many hoops and things that, that are, they'd have to jump through to get into. So anyways, that all that disclosure being said, I think Hornings Mills is a great area for 218,000, three bedrooms, three washrooms. I mean, renovated house, you have granite countertops in here, uh, upgraded uh, range hood as well. There's uh, new windows in here. The flooring is done. It looks like it's a, a pretty cool place. And uh, now, I guess the island would be off on the other side or this. Oh, no, you, wait a minute. This is a kitchen. So there's a separate apartment in this one as well, and which is what you're looking at now. Um so yeah, it's a little bit different. Obviously, you don't have any picture from like the, the street. And I think just with where this, well, they probably took a picture of the back because it looked nicer than the front. So <laughs> anyways, it's, uh, and I think there's a, uh, there's a, uh, uh, well, there's the Pine River that runs behind it. Uh, there's a workshop in there as well with hydro. So I think there's a lot of positives to this. And uh, so Anyways, if you're looking to, to kind of get your feet wet into the real estate market, that may work. Or if you don't want to be in a condo, this could work as well. Next one, this one's a total reno job. Um, uh, Candy Road 11 down in Amaranth, 229. Two bedrooms, one washroom. Now, the photos that are here, it's just two pictures of the outside. So from that angle or that angle. Uh, but when I read down into the detail, everything in this house is being redone. It's being gutted. Uh, that's why there's no pictures. So... We'll have to wait until I finish off, but I think price-wise, why not? I mean, if it's a totally renovated house, you only have two bedrooms in it, but still. Next uh, is up in Marsville. Now, we've, I think we've only profiled, I think, maybe one in Marsville the whole time that we've been doing this, which is about a year and a half now. So with this one, we have four bedrooms, two washrooms. The basement's unfinished on this, but you can fit lots of cars uh, in the driveway on this one. Uh, Good sized property, 105 feet wide by 132 feet deep. The the you know very attractive uh, picture. I mean, I I've driven by this one yesterday. Uh, it, it's very nice area, and uh, you know it's got the nice. Uh, I mean, well actually, wait a minute. That's not hardwood flooring. It's laminate flooring. And uh, you have your wood insert there with a walk out to a deck. Now, the things that the sexy things that you're not seeing or I should say the unsexy things that they've done to this house is uh, they've gone ahead and they, you know, they've got a new water softener. There's, uh, there's been railings replaced. There's a new carpet in there. The chimney's been rebuilt. Uh, the flooring was done in 2003. Uh, you know, they got the windows and soffits done they, um, in 2008. Well, actually a couple of years. Uh, the kitchen um, floor, I mean, everything seems to have kind of come together on this, and there's a lot there. So anyways, that's uh, that's what I mean by the, uh, you know, you just don't see it in the pictures, a lot of the things that they've gone ahead and done. Number two, Jackson Court uh, down Orangeville, 314. Not bad. Um, and for Now, this one here, you're looking at two bedrooms, two washrooms. Uh, now, the uh, basement is finished, which is nice. You'll uh, we'll want to see the uh, the pictures when they come out because the kitchen's been remodeled and uh, they've done a little bit of uh, updating again on this one with regards to some windows, some flooring, uh, the you know things of that nature. 
Next up is 32 Appleton, uh, 329, three bedrooms, two washrooms. I think price-wise, they're they're pretty good with this one. Um, now, people that, that come into these ones, it's a detached bungalow raised. And when people walk in, this is what they walk in. You walk up a couple of steps in and boom, you're hit into the living room. You have your washroom right to the left. You have bedrooms to your left. And right down at the end is your master bedroom. And this is your, your kitchen right behind the wall. So it's not really like an open concept. Um, you have one big room, but then you have uh, you know, washrooms and other rooms kind of off the side. And there's your kitchen off the off the back with a walk out to the backyard. Basement, again, the, the the size of the basement is is a nice big floor and it's very open uh, in here. Now again, you're gonna have to to get used to. Well, I mean, if you were interested in it, there's the you know the red or or pink carpet that's there. The you know some people just don't like. But uh, again, that's only carpet; it can always be replaced. Now, the thing is that you're not seeing on the deck. You're seeing a side angle. And the reason that you're seeing a side angle is if you take a look at the virtual tour, it's, it's a, a walkout in the basement. And so you're up higher than everybody else. So you kind of overlook everybody else. So the privacy you don't get from the deck. Uh, you may get it down from below uh, because of the fence. But, but still, it's just something that you would need to, you need to know. This virtual tour doesn't work, so I wouldn't click on it. <laughs> uh, three bedrooms uh, on this one, two washrooms, uh, 349,000. It's got a finished walkout. Again, you got some uh, pink carpeting in there. Galley size kitchen, and you know, some people, you know, I've had some clients, they really, really don't mind galley kitchens because they find that it's easy to navigate, easy to, to, to maneuver within the kitchen. But then there's other folks that just say, you know what, it just doesn't work because you get two people in the kitchen and you're kind of hitting one another, or you're bumping into each other. It just doesn't work. So for everybody, there's a there's a different style, right? And the very colorful in the rooms, you know, between the pink and the green. Uh, we got a pool. So it can look a little bit dated. Uh, it does. It's on over like it's close to four acres. Finished walkout, which is nice. You do have the double car garage in there. So, you know, it, it, it's, it's a trade-off on, on how you uh, have to, to work with these things. So you can find four great houses, but not all of them are exactly what you're looking for. So sometimes people have to settle for, for what's available. And, you know, it's kind of hard to, to kind of wrap your mind around that if you're if you're in that situation, because nobody wants to buy something that they that they don't like. So there's clauses that you can put in an offer. Let's say you have a property to sell. There are clauses that you can put into the offer when you purchase um, uh, a home uh, uh, that, uh, you know, make sure, or if you're selling your house, a clause, sorry, if you're selling a house, you can put a clause in there that states that, uh, you know, you can find a, a home that's satisfactory to your needs. You know, to, to you know, have a condition back to the to the buyer. Anyway, it's just something to think about. And again, planning is eighty percent of the whole process. So, really, once you get clear on what it is that your goals are, your decisions become much easier. So, what I really encourage you to do is really get focused on what are those uh, goals and you know what I can walk you through a process that I use when I help a lot of my clients uh, you know figure out if they're in a situation that selling is going to be the right thing for them or if buying is going to be the right thing for them so anyways I encourage you to you know sit back and, and try to think about those things and if you need help um, I have a process that I walk my clients through so you know you, you can always get hold of me and we can go through that over the phone or we can have a chat uh, while we have a cup of coffee now the next one here is over on 30th Side Road, and this one is an amaranth. Now this is a church. It's an old church, but it's still a church. 359, it's on an acre. I was at this house yesterday. Uh, there is a pool out there, and uh, there is a deck off the back there that's, I, I don't know how sturdy it was. Really beautiful property, but some of the things that you're not seeing on the outside is if I turned around and looked over the fence... I would see probably about six wind turbines. So again, it's just something to to think about in moving into these areas because you don't see it in the pictures. 
Now this, when you first walk in, this, this is your kitchen, and then you have a small living room, and then uh, a laundry room and a bedroom. There's your living room, not the best picture, but there's the living room uh, right there on the other side. So dining living room, and then a bathtub. <laughs> That's downstairs. That's the master bedroom. It's very dark because there's only one window off to the left. And uh, there's a little uh, two-car garage um, kind of off on the property. I don't know if they use it for cars. I think it's more for the for the dogs. But anyways, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. They may, have a, they may have a tough time on this one. Next up is uh, 93 Null Haven. It's down in Bolton. 364, semi-detached. It uh, looks like you could fit a couple of cars in there, which is uh, nice. No grass to cut down the side there. They've interlocked all that, which is great. I used to have a, a new house, and and what happens when you when when the houses are so close together, it just gets muddy, 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 and it just it's a weed infested area. So it's nice when they can finish it off with the interlock. Very nice with a stainless steel appliance. Well, one stainless steel appliance. <laughs> a little bit of mismatch, but that's all right. A nice hardwood flooring that they have in there as well. Eden uh, kitchen with a walk out to the deck. Beautiful job in the floors upstairs. Very nice. And the basement's finished as well. So, I mean, it's finished on all floors. 364, I think, yeah, absolutely. They're doing very well on price on that one. Kensington, great neighborhood. 369, four bedrooms, three washrooms. It's got a finished walkout, which is nice. Now, this one's just being sold as is, whereas I think it's a... Uh, a power of attorney sale. Uh, there's, you know, the the lonely range hood. I see that a lot of times where you know, everything else is stripped out and except the range hood, it's just kind of sitting there. Uh, the layout of this house is great. It's it's very large. Great job on all hardwood flooring on these uh, on here. Then the kitchen's being done. Great, great looking home. Uh, the like I said with the, with regards to the layout. And, uh, and with it being, see downstairs, you get a full big room down there. It's really great. Uh, very nice neighborhood as well. So, And uh, next one is over on Mulmer, uh, Tosser Antonio Town Line. Say that really, 10 times really fast. Or I should say maybe even three times really fast. Uh, 450,000, uh, two car garage by the looks of it. Uh, ranch style type of home. And uh, get your pitch pictures. It looks like they've got some nice built-in stainless steel appliances there and including the range head. So very nice. Looks like it's a corner uh, cooktop stove uh, island in there as well. Hardwood flooring. you got the uh, wall of ceiling fireplace. Washroom right there. And you have your acre. And it looks like you have your acres. Eight, eight of them. Eight acres. And those are all the pictures. So see where that one goes. Uh, next one takes us uh, down to Hillsburg, 489 over on uh, Fort Barber Drive. And uh, with this one, they got a finished walkout. There's uh, uh, hardwood flooring in here in the, in the living room, but the kitchen and the breakfast area, it's limestone. Nice, uh, you know, nice uh, laid out kitchen. Everything's off the counter. It's clean. Just need a bowl of green apples on there, and you got, you're all set. I, you know, again, I'd remove the, the tablecloths, but that's just me. And, uh, you know, you want to open up uh, your curtains as much as you can. But, this is nice. I like it. Good size layout. Uh, basement's being finished with, and it's a walkout as well, so it's good size. And look at the lawn. The lawn is stunning. It looks wonderful, uh, you know, being on one, just over one acre. So very nice. And the last one is over on six line, 750,000, three bedrooms, three washrooms. It's a bungalow. Now, the thing is with this one, and I'll, and I'll, I'll show you at the very, very end. Uh, you got the pool in the back there, which is great. Uh, good size uh, property, a couple of acres on this. You got some alpacas out there, hardwood flooring. Uh, you got the pot lights in the kitchen, stainless steel appliances. Uh, nice open concept there. That would be the music room or den. Uh, downstairs, finished basement, pot lights as well. Renovated washroom, stunning. Looks looks really great. Now, here's the th here's what here's why I like it. And the thing is, I like I like this. That is the uh, office that I think 
I don't know, any business person would love. Uh, you have a skylight, looks like you have a ceiling fan, you have a walkout, you have windows, and it's all glass looking out into a beautiful, beautiful view of your property. I can handle working in that. That's stunning. Just got to make sure you have the AC cranked because in the summertime, it probably gets kind of hot. So that's our show, folks. Hopefully you enjoyed it, and we will catch you next time, which is tomorrow, on Orangeville Daily Homes. Bye for now.